Okay, there was an inquiry on these tubs. I want to show you what I've done there. These are just a cement mixing tub. You can get them at uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. I don't know what they're running now. And I have a couple air stones in there. They're like uh, 10 or 12 inch air stones. Now, on this uh, foam that I'm using here, I'm using a full inch and a half uh, foam. Now, yeah, it looks like an inch and three eighths, maybe. But anyway, by doing that, I also on the the pool noodles, you can see that I've cut them the size of what the the board is that I'm using. Now, by doing that. If I have one that is short on the roots, I can take and push that thing down further to get those roots closer to the water. And it's real easy to do. Uh, now, if you cut these exactly the size of the... Sorry for the way that juggles around when I'm trying to do this with one hand. But you can see I'm 24 inches on the width and 36 on the length. So that gives me, I can cut four of these out of one sheet with no problem and still have a couple feet left over on the other end that I can take and uh, make another lid for if I want to that, that can be uh, two by uh, three. So that, that's how I make my tubs and the, the deals here, the lids on these. Now by using that uh, heavy foam, this is my third season on these lids and on the tubs. As far as this water bottle goes, all that does is add weight to this to help seal that all the way around. Now, you got to watch it. If you're not perfectly level, some of these will want to drip. And if they do, just bring it in a little to where you're, you're in from the edge. And that way, if it's going to drip, it drips right back into the reservoir rather than winding up on your uh, tops. Now on the tops of this hot tub I went and got these three doors at uh, Habitat for Humanity and uh, they wanted ten dollars a door. I got the three of them and he gave me a break on it at eight seventy five so I saved almost four dollars doing it that way. So again, you guys can negotiate with them at those Habitats for Humanity and uh, on their resale stores and get some better deals if you need to. Uh, that's going to pretty much do it on how I made these tubs and everything else. On the air portion, I do have a connector here where it's going in and my hoses on the inside. Just take and uh, split off, and one goes to each stone. Here on the air pump, I've got one of these air pumps that has four different connections. So I've got one going to each tub, and I've got them in here on a cable that I run that goes 24 hours a day on that. And then my lights, they're all on timers. So I hope that helps. If it does, I'll see you on the next one.